when you look at you know customer base across industries, uh, what kind of feedback concern you get from them that these are some of the solve problem or these are the things that keep them awake at night when it comes to API security? So one of the things that I hear probably kind of like, you know, top of the list with customers is, hey, um, I don't know what I don't know, right? And in security, that's a very dangerous thing in cybersecurity because there are so many of these APIs, shadow APIs and other things that have been deployed or put out there or the developers have changed out over a period of years and over the last five years, 10 years, one year, 20 years, you know, there's a whole kind of digital infrastructure out there for that company. And just having the ability to do discovery and visibility becomes so important. It sounds very simple, but it's important, right? I mean, sometimes we talk about, hey, you know, you and I are probably the CIO and the CISOs of our home networks, right? And if you go on your Wi-Fi and do some kind of a discovery, you will see 30 devices, 50 devices, you know, depending upon how advanced you are, 100 devices. And you're like, discovery, I want to know what's happening on the network. I want to know what's happening in my digital footprint, right? So discovery, visibility, very important. Uh, from there, you get into posture, you try to figure out you know, what are my problems? What is my risk profile look like? Where do I need to go solve for first, second, third? Uh, then you start to get into the whole runtime detection protections, almost thinking about a, you know, XTR kind of a concept, which is, you know, full loop. So one of the things that we've done is we've, you know, for, for Akamai traffic and customers who are already on Akamai, you know, WAP type of products or WAF type of products, we build a, a native connector. So the ability to kind of take all of that customer data into the API security detection clouds and be able to kind of detect and, and provide the insights to the customers on how do you mitigate. And we have built a reverse loop, uh, kind of closed loop mechanism, which says that if the customer chooses through automation, we can block it on our WAF also. So kind of send the data, analyze it, decide to block it, we can block it, right? So it becomes a very powerful sort of, you know, um, kind of rapid response system, which is very much needed, right? Because uh, a lot of what is happening is, is just unbelievable. Like, I mean, we get to see my researchers, my threat researchers, my data scientists, you know, the technical teams, they bring forward some of these examples or use cases, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, customers are making simple mistakes or, you know, they're, they're like, I remember there was one example of a customer uh, where the internal team had set up the, the password and the username for their end users kind of same. So they were like trying to, you know, minimize the work effort on their time. But through our discovery process, through our detections, we found that 11% of there was like the same. So clearly that is open to abuse and it is opening up sort of, you know, for the bad guys, right? So we saw some of those things uh, and we were able to bring forward for our customers. 